If you can't work, you still need to pay your bills. Rate Detective will compare and find the most competitive quote for income protection insurance and give you a 20% rebate after 12 months. Call 1300 Detect. Rate Detective offer general advice on insurance and are an authorised representative of Risk Advice Specialist AFS Licence 412709. There's Dowling for funnyguys.com.au and Daryl McDonald, one of the stars of the NBL for. Turns out, Des, as we found out before, about 73 years he yeah, played he's, in he's, uh, the NBL. Still looking like he could play now. And uh, we took a risk veering away from the AFL path, but uh, he's delivered the goods. Absolutely. Because it's another, it's another world for us to hear about, obviously, growing up in New York and doing what you did. But then, as we were saying earlier, at 29, you make this decision, you get scouted by uh, Brett Brown. Is it Brett Brown? And yeah. uh, he says, come to Australia. Any idea where, how far away that was or what you were doing? Uh, it was, let me tell you what, what it was. I knew about Australia because of Ricky Grace. Ricky Grace played. Mm-hmm. I knew Ricky Grace played here. I knew they took point guards. But he called me. I was playing in the CBA in the States. I was in, I was actually in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And he just gave me a call and said, you know, we look. he actually wasn't looking at me. So that's another story. A lot of people don't know that. I've, I was recruited, but he wasn't looking at me. He was looking at somebody else. So oh, you, over, you, when you get didn't. recruited, mm-hmm. you know, you send him video and they look at the video and somebody – he was looking at video of somebody else, but I happened to be in the same video. He saw Mr. Excitement. And there you go. <laughs> and, that's, and seriously, and that's when he, he, you know, he gave me a call and said, you know, I'm, I'm Brett Brown. I'm in Australia. We'd like you to come out, blah, 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 blah. And at the time, I didn't really care how much money it was. Yep. I just wanted to, because I was playing, I played in the CBA for four years. The CBA is a league you can play in where you can, you'll get opportunity to go to the NBA. And did you get an opportunity to go I to the NBA? I never did. Not at and all. And that's where, that's where I, I got to a point where I just didn't want to play in the CBA no more. I was, I was looking to go somewhere else and the coming here came up and he called me and said do you like to go I said yeah and I was I was on the next the next thing smoking I was on the next plane <laughs> <laughs> and then I you know I got here it's funny though because I got here and the first day I got here they put me up in a hotel in the city and the next next morning we on a three and a half hour drive to Warnable. <laughs> so I'm the in windy Warnable, city yeah <laughs> in Warnable for welcome to Australia a week so yeah. we did we did preseason in Warnable for a week and I was, you know, it was, it was, it was different because, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm saying to myself, I don't, you know, it's, you know, and then I got back here and you, you know, you see the city, you see that and it, you know, turned out okay. Yeah. You got to Warrnambool and thought this can't be our, our, <laughs> yeah, our base during yeah, the season. No, we, sure. no, we not staying here. We, I know we not here. <laughs> I know we're not, I know, I know we not living here. Hughesy was wandering here. around Warrnambool yeah. at that stage. <laughs> we're not in Kansas anymore, Ted. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, it, it it ended up okay. And immediately you felt at home in the league. Like a, you obviously made an impression straight away. There's all the, there's lots of great stuff on YouTube of your, you know, your tricks and your what you do. But you obviously, it, it wasn't as if you obviously felt the league was a, a decent enough one to yeah, stay. Yeah, it was. I, I thought the, the league was good back then. I, what I what I would say is back then, the, I thought the the imports you had to have good imports. Mm. You know, the Australians were good, but wasn't as good. They, they weren't as good as they are now. You know what I mean? So your imports were your team. Yeah. You know, you, you you had to have good imports to win. You know what I mean? And you know, that first year for me, that you know saying that my first year is probably the reason why I'm still here. You know, you've come out first year, won, you know, win a championship, you know, one vote off MVP. And now and, and I'm still here now. So yeah. that's I'm, I'm you know, I've I've had a pretty okay career. I've, and, and in 1904, in those sort of years, the NBL was really big. I remember growing up watching that every week, and I'd I'd go to the Giants games, I'd go yeah. to the Tigers games as well. I didn't have a team, but I just wanted to go and, just watch, and yeah. watch. It was and, good. And watch was really good. good. And yeah, yeah, some great names. You had Tim Dillon and Scott Fisher. And it Mark was a lot. Yeah, it was, a, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was really big. It was big back then. Because you could, you could get 15. Because we used to play at the Glass House. But yeah. I was, mm-hmm. like, I'm a basketball fanatic. So every, anytime there's a game at Tennyson, I didn't care who was playing. If we don't have a game, I'm near. Yep. You know, and I'm, you know, I remember going to watch the Magic and the Tigers, fifteen thousand people. Yeah, unbelievable. You know, I've, how do you get it back to that? Because that was it was unreal back then. Um, and what do you there. think was the difference back then? Was it just the imports, and the, was it the time, or is it just? I, I'm, I must, uh, I would just say the time. To be honest, I don't. You know, the, the, all the imports, all the imports was good. You, and like I said, you, you had your Australians that were that were that were really good. You know, Drewy. Drew is Drew, you know, Brack, you have all, you, you know, all those guys were really good back then. But uh, I still think, you know, people, when people was coming to the games, they was coming to see the imports. Had you heard of Andrew Gaze because yeah. of his time at Seton Hall I and did. those sorts of things in college basketball? I, I absolutely did. Yeah. I did. I remember watching them when they played uh, in the NCAAs. You still meet American 
basketball fans who remember yeah. Andrew Gay. That's yeah. a, you know, it's an injury. I don't think we understand here how much he did over. Well, we spoke to Christian Leitner um, in just at the start of the year, or mid-year, and Gazy and I were doing brekkie, and Christian Leitner knew who Andrew Gay is. Yeah. I'm thinking, hang on a minute, this yeah. is, he yeah. would have been a young fellow. Well, yeah, when for just the the, the play in that game, it's, that's the, one of the biggest games in in the world when it happens. It's really, really, you know how they do all the ratings. It's, it usually gets top ratings every year, mm-hmm. so that's why. And he, you know, he stood out. He played like he played well, like you know what I mean. So I knew, I knew him coming over here, mm-hmm. and I think a lot of people. Everybody knew who he was. What do you expect from the competition, though? You've come from the CBA where there would have been some NBA graduates of that because that's where the opportunity was to, to get a look at the NBA. Yeah. And you come to Australia, this country that's a million miles away, and sh- you're surely you're thinking to yourself, these guys can't ball. Mm, no. I never actually thought that, to be honest. Uh, I knew... I knew, it was a, I knew it was a good league because I, I, like, I, I, I always based it on Brett. You know, I, I think he was, he was, it was more... You know, I'm gonna bring this guy and see it, see what he can do. Yep. And you know, like our first the first training session, it was you know our first training session that was in Warnable was really interesting because <laughs> we you know we doing these we doing these drills, and you know it was a lot of ball handling drills and things like that. I think Mark Leader was looking at Brett going, <laughs> "You bring this guy all the way from the states to do ball handling drills? <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this guy going to be your point guard? You do a ball handling drill?" And it turned out, and then we started playing, and I was, I was always known as a good passer. And, you know, make a, make a move and throw, a, uh, you know, a no-look pass. I can't remember who it was, but I hit somebody right in the face. <laughs> and so they should have been I looking. Think that yeah. Was, yeah, and I think that, that, was, that was pretty much, Brett was like, I think we got, I think we got the right That'll guy. do. I'd wrap him up in cotton wool for the rest of the camp. I think we got the right guy. Have the rest of the session off. Just sit over there for a sec. We know you can play.